What is going on, Jeff fans? Matt O'Leary back with another video. In today's video, I want to get into two players from the Washington Commanders, actually, but both have kind of had links in different direct, uh, not different directions, but both have been linked to the Jets in different capacities. There we go. Uh, in Sam Howell and Jacoby Brissett, both at the quarterback position, both at different points in their career. But let's talk about both those guys. So we'll start with Sam Howell, who apparently the New York Jets, according to Connor Hughes, uh, they have some people in the building who are pretty high on Howell and with the Washington commanders more than likely going the route of a young quarterback number two overall. They seem likely to move off of Sam Howell and bringing in a veteran, a veteran backup to then go with your rookie quarterback that you're taking to overall, either Drake May or Caleb Williams or maybe Jaden Daniels, one of those guys more than likely going in the top top two to the Washington Commanders, but that would then theoretically make Sam Howell available. And for the New York Jets, who are going to need a backup quarterback and potentially a developmental quarterback, does this make sense for the Jets? Would their interest be warranted? That's kind of what I want to talk about and go through. So what are some of the positives? Well, he's cheap. He's approximately $1 million against the cap for the next two years, give or take roughly eight ninety and change in year one, 1 1.1, something like that in, in year two. Uh, so he will be a cost effective backup quarterback who is young and with some upside. Theoretically, he's 20. He'll turn 24 years old in September. So 24 will be his age 24 season. 2025 will be his age 25 season and cost it's not going to be super costly to trade for uh, Sam Howell, more than likely a day three pick. It then gets into one. Do you think you can develop Sam Howell? And number two, is it worth it to give up, let's say, one of your two fourth round picks for a backup quarterback who could potentially develop? Now, Howell's 2023 season was very, very bizarre. It started out OK and then went absolutely off the rails in the second half of the season. So just looking at the full body of 2023, he threw 612 times, which is by far the most in the NFL. He had a 63.4 completion percentage, threw for 3,946 yards, 21 touchdowns, 21 interceptions, 6.4 yards per attempt, 232.1 yards per game, and a 78.9 rating. That feels very Jameis Winston coded, throwing for nearly 400, uh, 4,000 yards, excuse me, having uh, a similar number of touchdowns and interceptions. Although his yards per attempt, granted, he threw the ball a ton, 612 times, was sacked the most in the NFL. 78.9 rating is pretty mediocre, but it, it was, again, a tale of two halves. The first 10 games of the year, he had 17 touchdowns, was pacing out for 4,700 yards, a 66.5 completion percentage. He was still getting sacked a lot. He was still throwing, you know, high number of interceptions. It wasn't one over one per game, but it was still a high number at that point. And then over the final seven games, holy smokes, did it go off the rails Four touchdowns, 12 interceptions, four touchdowns to 12 interceptions over the final seven games against the New York Jets. He was absolutely abysmal. Six of 22, 27.27 uh, 27 completion percentage, just 56 yards, no touchdowns, two picks. So let's answer the question. Is he a starter? No, I don't think he is going to be a starter in 2024. Can he be developed? Maybe I think he has some serious gunslinger vibes. I think he's probably a backup quarterback spot starter type of guy where he's OK in small spurts, but gets exposed over a longer period of time. Kind of like what Ryan Fitzpatrick, kind of like Ryan Fitzpatrick in a way. Um, there's some things that are relatively intriguing, like. He's had some pretty big games. He's gotten the ball in the end zone a, bu a bunch of times. Again, 17 touchdowns in the first 10 games. First half of the year was, you know, putting up some numbers, throwing the ball, but some of his underlying numbers really weren't great in, in 2023. Um, so I, I don't know if he's someone that 
could be developed behind Aaron Rodgers to then take over after he's done. Now, again, as a backup quarterback, could you do a lot worse? Yeah, you you definitely you could do a lot worse. He's cheap. That's some upside and he's young. But do you feel comfortable with that as your QB2 going into 2024, which is your question, which is, you know, a, a fair question. I think with that one, there's legitimate pros and also legitimate cons. I'm not crazy about the idea. I don't think it's the worst idea ever, right? Like, I'm not going to sit here and, and if the Jets flip a fourth or fifth round, although they don't have a fifth, but let's say a fourth round pick for uh, Sam Howell or sixth round pick probably sounds a little bit more appetizing, but whatever. If they flip a day three pick for Howell, I'm not going to do a video and pound the table and say it was the worst decision ever. The Jets are a horrible franchise. But if they make that move, I'm also not going to celebrate it like they just found their answer after Aaron Rodgers and that it's a genius idea. They'd be like, okay, it's a relatively low cost backup quarterback who has some upside, is still young. Maybe he develops, but don't think he's anything more than a backup. Now, the other option is Jacoby Brissett, who DJ Reed was hyping up on Twitter. The Jets cornerbacks in Sauce Gardner and DJ Reed went out on their little recruiting spree on Twitter yesterday. And Jacoby Brissett is a very popular name in the backup quarterback market. Um, he's, to me, in my opinion, one of the best backup quarterbacks in the NFL. Uh, and let's just go through because they're very different. Pl- Jacoby Brissett and Sam Howell are very, very different stylistically, which is OK. We're going to go through it against the New York Jets. By the way, he came in in relief of Sam Howell and was excellent. He was 10 of 13. 100 passing yards, one touchdown, no interceptions, a 123.9 rating. Jacoby Brissett has 48 career starts under his belt, has an 85.3 rating, 51 touchdowns to just 23 interceptions. Brissett has one more career interception than Sam Howell in 30 more starts. That's an insane number. That's crazy to think about. Sam Howell has 22 in 18 games and Brissett has 23 in 48 career starts. So again, Jacoby Brissett and Sam Howell completely polar opposite. So it's going to be dependent on what you want at backup quarterback. By the way, as a starter, Jacoby Brissett in 2022 played 11 games for the Cleveland Browns while Deshaun Watson was serving his suspension. In 2022, he threw for 12 touchdowns, six interceptions, a uh, 2,608 yards, which is a pace of 4,031 yards over a full 17 game season, an 89.1 rating, 7.1 yards per attempt. Now, here's the big difference. He's much older. He's 31 years old and is going to be much more costly at eight to $12 million. My guess is some Somewhere between eight to twelve, maybe split the difference, say ten million dollars a year as a backup, which is again pretty expensive. Like I just said a minute ago, it really comes down to what your preference is at the backup quarterback spot. If you like young, cheap, with more upside, but is possibly more volatile, with the his floor is much lower, uh, but he has a higher ceiling. Then Sam Howell is going to be your guy. And granted, you're going to have to also give up a draft pick for it. If you want safe, steady Eddie, definitely not as high of a ceiling, definitely not as low of a floor, going to be a, again, solid backup spot starter. You know there's no chance he's developing at this point in his career. He's 31 years old. He is what he is. He's, again, that's what he is. He's a fine, really good backup quarterback, fine spot starter that you feel comfortable with. Um, My personal preference between the two I like Jacoby Brissett more. I understand that he's older. I understand that he is going to be more costly. To me, at this point in their careers, there's without a doubt in my mind that Jacoby Brissett is the better quarterback between the two. I don't love the idea of having to give up a draft pick for your backup quarterback. That's the difference, right? Like, yes, Sam Howell is cheaper, but you're going to have to give up a draft pick to get him. Sam Howell is, uh, excuse me, Jacoby Brissett's older and more expensive than Sam Howell. But you're not going to have to give up a draft asset in order to to land him. There's a chance you could, you know, still draft your own guy in in the fourth, fifth round, sixth round, somewhere in that range, uh, and then you get 
two more years on the rookie contract as opposed to just the final two years on the rookie deal. As I said in the beginning of the video, I'm not like, I'm going to say I'm firmly against the idea of bringing in Sam Howell and say that it's this awful, awful thing and the Jets would be stupid to do it. I, I think that's, if that's the stance you're taking, I think that's way too extreme. But for me, I've, I, I like a steady veteran, you know what you're getting, not too high, not too low, more of a game manager as the backup. I don't like these high variance backups. The Jets just did that this past year with Zach Wilson with a high variance quarterback going into year three. Granted, Sam Howell has has shown significantly more at the NFL at the NFL level than Zach Wilson. That's not what I'm saying here, but the Jets did the high variance thing. Granted, on a different scale, but high variance backup quarterback with Zach Wilson last year. That's what they would be doing again in this spot. A little too risky for me. I'm going to go the safe route. I'm going to go the veteran route. And I'm going to say Jets, if they want to draft the quarterback and have them sit it as, you know, the QB three, fine, different story. Take your own guy. Let's not try to re rehabilitate Sam Howell. And the Jets have the staff in place to rehabilitate Sam Howell. That I'm not sold on either. So of the two, my choice is Jacoby Brissett, but I want to hear from you. Who would you choose down below in the comment section? Are you team Jacoby Brissett, team Sam Howell? What should the Jets do at backup? I'm Matt O'Leary. I'll catch you guys next time.